Hey guys, 13 Prevail here. I uh, just wanted to show you guys my new uh, belt carry survival kit that uh, I put together. Uh, I got this little bag from AliExpress. Uh, obviously not the best quality, but uh, you know it'll, it'll do the trick. It has all the necessary pockets and, and uh, the straps for carrying. It also came with a little strap if you want it to carry on your shoulder or, or across your body, but I don't think I'll be using that. I'm just going to carry it right on my belt. Has a zipper pocket inside, some straps for, for carrying stuff, a mesh pocket, and has a pocket on the back too. I think I paid $11, $11 for it or something. Uh, first of all, reflective blanket. Definitely got to have a reflective blanket. This alone could save your life in cold weather. Uh, I have the orange one. Uh, highly visible of course um, right now I have a poncho but I'm gonna swap this out for a uh, orange garbage bag very large uh, a landscaping garbage bag if I can uh, a garbage bag you can use as a poncho if you want to you could just cut a hole in the top of the garbage bag pull over your head but uh, garbage bag would work better for uh, if you wanted to cut it and make make a tarp or stuff like that so this is getting swapped out for uh, a garbage bag when I get one but for now that's okay uh, large ziploc baggie you can use this for carrying uh, let's say if you're picking berries you can you can carry berries you can carry uh, meat if you trapped any squirrels or any other game you can also use it to carry water of course Bandana you can use for uh, first aid stuff, use it as a sling, uh, you know, wrap up a cut, a wound. You can use it to uh, sort of filter water. You lay this over a cup or, or something, or strain water, dirty water. Uh, tin foil. This you can use for cooking. You can use it carrying, uh, say, carrying meat that you already cooked. Wrap it up. You can also use this uh, to boil water if you had to. Uh, obviously you're not going to make a huge pot and have a raging fire out of tinfall, but if you need it to boil a little bit of water you can make like a cup shape and uh, you could definitely manage to boil some water if you absolutely had to. I've got some pre-made snares and I also have some pitcher wire in here. This actually came out of a a pitcher hanging kit and I just took it and uh, put it in my kit so you can custom make snares whatever you need hooks uh, some weights and some fishing line winter time you could add some uh, ice fishing hooks for sure but uh, I wouldn't be getting on any ice here in Newfoundland right now anyway so uh, I have a little pocket knife That'll definitely uh, do for cleaning cleaning game or helping set primitive traps, anything like that. Multi-tool would be better. It would definitely be heavier, but it would be better because uh, you would have a little saw most likely. You would have pliers also, so you could definitely swap this out for a, a little multi-tool too. I have a little mirror here, a little compact mirror. I think I got this off a, a little makeup kit or something in the dollar store. I was looking for a mirror and this is all I could find so I just broke it off and uh, it has, a pla has plastic around there so it's kind of kind of works out better because you don't have to worry about the glass, the mirror itself getting broke. Uh, what else? First aid. Just a very small first aid kit. Uh, some band-aids, gauze, alcohol wipes and some tape. Just the basic stuff here candle this can be used with the uh, reflective blanket you hold the blanket over you like this inside it'll keep you really warm until the candle runs out of course you can also use this for uh, if you've got some stubborn stubborn tinder you're trying to get lit to make a fire say in the rain or whatever you can this would definitely help uh, duct tape well uh, I don't have to say much more about duct tape you can use that for anything little flashlight uh, I have a protein bar this can be eaten obviously or you can also use it for uh, if you're setting primitive traps like for squirrels and stuff and I actually have peanut butter 
I know squirrels like peanut butter. I know that for a fact. So, um, yeah, definitely you can use it for bait, for traps. You can also eat it, ration it out. Hopefully, with just a little survival kit like this, you're not going to be in the woods no longer than uh, a night if you get lost or if something happens. So, protein bar, go a long ways. Uh, fire starting. I have dryer lint. I have cotton balls and petroleum jelly. And I have some store bought uh, fire starter here. This won't take a spark, but once you have a little, uh, once you have a flame, let's say if I use matches or lighter, this will burn for a long time. Help you get a fire going. Uh, lighter, of course. Waterproof matches. I, I'm, I don't know how waterproof they are, but that's why I've got the ferro rod. If this stuff gets wet, doesn't matter how, how wet this gets, this will always shoot a spark. I've got a whistle. Obviously, that's going to be for uh, signaling rescuers or uh, people looking for you. And it also has a little compass on there. I've got string and a couple of different kinds of paracord. Now, what's missing from here is definitely some purification tablets for water or a little mini water filter. That's, that's something I'm going to add to this. So... I'm going to uh, pack all this up now and show you guys again. So guys, here it is all packed up. All those things I just showed you, they're all in here now. I used to have a uh, Tupperware container in my, in my backpack, but I decided to uh, use this as a, use it as a belt carry instead. Transfer everything from there to here, add a few things, and I'm just going to carry this all the time now instead of instead of only having a first aid kit and a, and a survival kit when I carry my backpack because uh, the other one I just used to have in my in my uh, backpack you've probably seen it in the last video actually where I cut my knee but uh, anyway I have another one uh, what I'm gonna do is over the next few weeks I'm gonna fill this one gather up a bunch of stuff just like I showed you and uh, I'm going to give it to one of you guys, so uh, I'll send it to you guys, whoever wins, and uh, how you're going to win is you're going to guess how much this weighs in grams. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to weigh it right now on my kitchen scale. You guys leave a comment how much you think this weighs with all that stuff in there, and the closest to, uh, to being correct or whoever gets it correct, I'll... Uh, Go ahead, pack one of these up. It'll probably take me a couple weeks or a few weeks to gather up everything I need because I only had the, the, the one lot of stuff here. So, And uh, we'll see who wins a survival kit. I mean, it's not much. It's not top of the line stuff. It's not all expensive gear going to be in there. But it's stuff that will get you out of a jam if you get stuck. So, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to weigh it right now. You tell me what you think it weighs in grams. So I'm going to weigh it in grams, and like I said, closest one, uh, I'll, I'll send them one. So uh, anyway guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you think there's anything I should add to this afterwards, uh, I know I'm going to add a water filter or uh, purification tablets, stuff like that, but uh, this is pretty much it except for that stuff. So um, if you have any ideas what I should add, please let me know. And I'll see what I can do, see if I can fit it in there. But still, still quite a bit of room in there. Okay, guys, take care. Thanks for watching.